Lord for another day that he had blessed us. Yes. Thank the Lord for our lying down and our eyes and our yes. Amen. Someone. And today I'd like to invite your attention into Psalms 51 and 17. Psalms 51 and verse 17. And it reads you here. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O oh God, thy will not despise. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for how you have blessed us. Speak to our hearts. Give us for our sins. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. My thought today will be the blessing of brokenness. The blessing of brokenness. Broken means no longer whole and two or more pieces. Heartbroken, love sick, unhappy, despairing, crushed, despondent, misery, wretched, desolated, upset, disappointed, depressed, sad, sorrowful, dejected, and rejected, grief, stricken. Out of order or no longer in working condition. Not kept, not honored, or fulfilled a broken promise. Unable to continue because you have been disrupted. Uneven. Having an uneven surface. You become weak physically, weakened. Health is broken. Destroyed by adversities. Destroyed or badly hurt by grief or misfortune. Split apart by divorce, separation, or desertion. When we submit to God, He blesses us. Amen. I'll say that again. Amen. When we submit to God, He blesses us. God must break us of our self-dependence so that he can bless us as we cling to him in our brokenness. Brokenness is the path to blessing. Brokenness is the path to blessing. Nobody like to be broken. Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Before God can use a man or woman, he must break them. Because we all have a built-in tendency to trust in ourselves. Amen. Being broken is a gift. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. 
never looked at it like that, you know, the gift of the spirit. But he said, broken and being broken is a gift. Because when we are broken, we recognize the need of a Savior to make us whole. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brokenness is God's way to blessing and change. He breaks our will and restores us into the wisdom of his will. He breaks our spirit and restores us into the security of his spirit. So, why do we need to be broken? Mm. Out of a fractured heart over sin, over greed, over pain, over shame and guilt. God's purpose is to produce humility that allows us to recognize. I'll say that again. God's purpose is to produce humility that allows us to recognize as David did who God is and who we are in comparison with him. It is humility that sets us up to come to grips with our sin. It is humility. It sets us up to come to grips with our sin. The reason brokenness is beautiful is because of how God can use it in our lives. Oh, somebody. Amen. Amen. It is something that can draw us near to him. So whatever it takes for God to do in your life to draw him, he's going to do it. Amen. You can't get away. When God calls you or you have a calling on your life, you can run and hide, but you can't outrun God. Amen. Brokenness makes room for a contract heart and repentance to bring us back, to bring us back into fellowship with him. When we have miserably failed, you can do nothing without him. Amen. Brokenness is not lovely in of itself. It is not the end of the journey, neither. Emotionally and spiritually, brokenness is messy and sad. Yeah. Amen. No one likes to be broken. Amen. But it's the pathway to God. Amen. He never looked at it that way. I've been good, God. He said, I'm going to break you up. Uh -huh. He said, I bless you, but I'm going to break you. Amen. And when I'm breaking you, then you're going to serve me. You thought you've been serving. You got to be broken, and you know you have done everything good, everything right. You've been fasting, praying, paying your tithes, paying your offering, and God said, "I got to break you up." Hallelujah. <laughs> God, but 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 what? He said, "No, no, 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 no. I got to come in." Hallelujah. Break up your thoughts. Yes. Your desire. Mm -hmm. What you think you want. I'm going to have to break it up. Amen. So I'm going to leave you broken when you feel sad, mad. But God said, it's a blessing. Amen. Being broken is a gift. Amen. Okay, 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 okay. Why does God choose the broken? He chooses the broken. Now, 
God loves the broken. He offers hope to the broken if we will listen. He promised to bless you. And he loves the broken hearted. Because can't nobody fix that but him. And you don't realize it until you come to it. So I got to break you up. Remember, Humpty Dumpty had a fall. They couldn't put him back together at all. Amen. But when we have a fall, or we be broken, we can go to God. Amen. Repentance is so important yes. when we serve him. He loves the broken so much that he sent a son to experience brokenness as said in Isaiah 53 verses 5 to 10 NLT man. oh my 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 brokenness is a gift you never looked at it like that you thought it was a curse but when God break you he brings humility and you'll find yourself saying, yes, Lord. Yes, yes Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You don't be saying no to God when God starts to really break you up. Read. But, he's, but he was pierced for our rebellion. He was pierced. I'm not Christ. He was pierced for our rebellion. Uh-huh. Crushed for our sins. He was crushed for our sins. Past, present, and future sins. He all took it to the cross over 2,000 years ago mm -hmm. because of the love that he had. Uh huh. He was beaten so we could be whole. Did you hear that? He was beaten, not you. He was beaten. He breaks you, but he was beaten Amen. so we could be whole. Uh huh. He was whipped so we could be healed. Did you hear that? Those stripes that they whipped him with, is that's the healing for the nation. The word of God say it heals you. His strength heals you. I lean on that. I trust God for that because his word says so. Do anybody trust in God? Yeah. Oh, you gonna really trust him when you start to go into when he start to breaking you up. Jesus. Yeah, and the reason why Elijah said, Well, I ain't got there yet, because you won't listen. You got to listen when God is speaking to you. That's why it's important to fellowship. It's important to hear the word of God. I said before, you got to eat. Amen. You got to eat this word. Uh-huh. All of us, like sheep, mm -hmm. have strayed away. Have strayed away. And it's amazing when folk leave or, or go away from God, they take other the folk with them. Always. Uh-huh. We have left God's paths mm. to follow our own. Now, we don't want to be led by God. We want to, I can do it myself. And you be making all kind of mistakes. You get yourself into things that you can't get out of. And you ask yourself, why did this happen to me? Because you rejected God. Amen. He is the head of your life. Amen. He's your Alpha and Omega. Your beginning and your end. He said, trust in me. Yes. He said, give me your heart. Mm. You trying to protect your heart. He said, give it to me. And I promise I'll bless you. So we have left God's path to follow our own. You don't know nothing. Amen. You don't know. You're lost. <laughs> you was lost and you met Christ. Amen. And if you ain't listening to him, you're still going to be lost. Amen. Saying, I know him. You don't know him because you ain't listening Amen. to him. That's why he said, hearken unto me. That means listen to me. Yes. I want to talk to you. That's why when you go into your word, have an open mind. Allow the spirit of God to convict or convert. Amen. And he will do it. Uh-huh. Yet the Lord laid on him the sins of us all. Uh -huh. He was oppressed and treated harshly, yet he never said a word. Look, he never said a mumbling word. They crucified him. They put them spikes. 
that he in his wrist. And then crossed his feet and stuck his face feet through. And the Bible said he never said a mumbling word. What he told him, he said, if I be lifted up, I would draw all men unto me. And when they lift him up, Hallelujah. and that cross went into the ground, he said, all men going to come to me because you lifted me. He's going to draw them. And how he draws us? Through brokenness. The world is full of brokenness. But they have, they serve the wrong God. This is why a lot of suicide, a lot of homicide, a lot of drug infection, all of these things are happening in the world. Can I get a witness? See, if we're in God, we don't get an overdose of uh, 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 drugs, we get an overdose of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And when he does in our lives, it changes us. It makes us better. And the better you are, the more broken he's going to make Hallelujah. you. And you're going to serve. Then, then you're going to serve. Uh huh. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter. Like a lamb going to slaughter. In other words, he was giving up his life for us. Uh huh. As a sheep is a is silent before the shearers. Before the shearers come, he said he's silent. In other words, they're gonna do a job on him. You know, before he went to the cross, they did a job on whooping him. Yeah. They whipped him. They whipped him on the back, the front. They did everything they could, but he kept trying. He kept standing up. They kept trying. They kept whooping him. They kept whooping him, and he said, "These stripes, that's on me, is the healing of the nation. Go to heal you." So in other words, there were what, 39 strikes? Mm -hmm. So each strike brings a healing. Amen. So what kind of disease can overtake you if you got the strike of Jesus Amen. on you? Yes, You're not going to witness somebody. Uh-huh. He did not open his mouth. Mm -hmm. Unjustly condemned. Unjustly condemned. Nobody. Look, what about the followers? Everybody that he was with, that he ministered to, that he healed, he delivered. They unjustly condemned him. He was led away to the cross. Uh huh. He was led away. Mm -hmm. No one cared that he died without descendants. Without descendants, he was cut off. But he saw something better than the physical descendants. Uh huh. That his life was cut short. In midstream, mm -hmm. but he was struck down for the rebellion of my people. Of my people, uh huh. He had done no wrong mm -hmm. and had never deceived anyone. No one. But uh -huh. he, what? But he was buried like a criminal. Mm. He was put in a rich man's grave. In a rich man's grave, uh huh. But it was the Lord's good plan to crush him. Did you hear that? It was God's plan to crush him. His only not forgotten but begotten son. Now you say, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You love your son that much. You got a plan to crush him and cause him grief. He said, what he was saying, I'm breaking him. Brokenness. I'm breaking him. I'm breaking him. Who can know the mind of Christ? Yet. Yet when his life is made an offering for sin, mm -hmm. he will have many descendants. Now, this is the spiritual part. Mm -hmm. When we accept Christ as Lord of life, we become descendants of him. Mm -hmm. Many descendants. He didn't have it on the physical, but on the spiritual. Look at the army of God. Hallelujah. It has grown and is still growing. Hallelujah. Seek the kingdom. Seek the kingdom. Yes. He? He will enjoy a long life and the Lord's good plan will <laughs> prosper in his hands. Just stay, stay broken. You say, well, I'm broken all up. That's why sometimes you pray and you feel broken up. Say, God, Take the pieces of my life. Put me back together again. And he makes you over. Hallelujah. Can I get a witness Amen. somebody? Amen. So God transformed the most broken, 
sinful moments of our lives into something that give him glory. God get glory when you go through your brokenness. Because you're trusting in him and you're leaning on him. Hello, somebody. Yeah. He cleans us up. Yes. Clothes us in his righteousness yes. and helps us gain clarity and focus and puts us on the right path. Yeah. He puts you right back on the right path. Thank you, Lord. Jesus said, Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. And have you noticed through your brokenness, you mourn, you cry, you go through. But he said the comforter, which is the comfort, he calms us. And he takes us through the pain and the agony that we go through. Have you ever been sick and couldn't get well? Well, you got to remember the stripes on his back. So you say, Lord, I love you. But I just want to take one of them stripes right there and put it on this ailment I got now. Hello, somebody. You got the power. And remember, it's in your mouth. It's what you say. And use it. Your mouth is your boss. Amen. And you got to keep that in mind because it's true. Yeah. It's what you say. You have the power to bind. You have the power to what? Loose. Mm -hmm. Reject the devil. Mm -hmm. He said you resist him if flee. Amen. You ain't got to finish running from him. Amen. If God is making you face your fears from the past, hmm, they are still affecting your present. This is a sign, hello, he is actually breaking you so he can remake you. Okay. I'll say that again. If God is making you face your fears from the past, they are still affecting your presence. Your past still affect your presence if you allow it to. So I got to keep breaking you and breaking you to you say, ah, kiss my past. Hello, somebody. Amen. This is a sign. This is a sign. He is actually breaking you so he can remake you. If God is stripping you, of all the people, places, yes. and things yes. that you have found comfort in. This is actually a sign God is breaking you so he can remake you. Amen. Some folk, you just got to let go and leave them alone. Amen. I'll say that again. So if God is stripping you, you may ask, God, why are you stripping me and breaking you? He said, because all the people and places and things that you have found comfort in. You found comfort in them. He said, oh, he said, this is actually a sign. God is breaking you so he can remake you. We need a remake over. Amen. Every last one of us. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. If God is taking away your strength, this is a sign. He is actually breaking you to remake you. Yeah. That's why when you feel weak and you can't function like you, you want to function, God give me strength. Amen. And sometimes he'll hold a strength back because he's making you. Mm -hmm. It's a sign that he's actually breaking you to remake you. Mm -hmm. If God is showing you how to fight, <laughs> your old your old identity and embrace your new identity. This is a sign. God is breaking you to remake you. Amen. No one likes to go through brokenness. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. It's just like an egg. 
But before you eat it, you crack it. And put it in the pan. <laughs> and put it in the pan and let it fry. And when it fry, you eat it. Yeah. If you boil it, you still have to take what? The shell, the shell off. off. Yeah. What do you think God doing to you? Eh? Huh? You don't want to talk to him. We don't like it. Brokenness is a gift from God. Because see, God sees what we don't see. Yeah, he right. knows what's in us when we think we know. Right, right. We don't know. On, sir, That's why we seek the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. He shows us. Can I get a witness? Amen. Let's go to Hebrews. Hebrews, 6th chapter. I'm winding it up. I, I took my time already. Take your time. God has found out something today. Amen. You found out that 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 brokenness is a gift. Hallelujah. Wow. We don't like to be broken. No. 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 We don't. Yeah, no. I start telling people things. I don't want to hear that. Amen. See, ladies, they won't come to church. They want to do come to church. Yeah, pastor. I say, yeah, but see, God ain't finished with you. My God, thank you. He ain't finished with you. Amen. He got to break you. He blesses you first. And you all happy. God, you be going God. on. What the heck? You be going on. You catch a little dance. <laughs> you be going on. Then he break. You say, wait a minute. What's up with that? What you doing, God? How come this happened? He said, oh. Okay. <laughs> this is a gift. This is a gift. <laughs> Breaking me. Taking me from people, places, and things. What you doing? He said, you belong to me. Right. And since you belong to me, I can do what I want to do to you because I'm sovereign. Yes. So, when we look at that, we say, God, I worked for you. Yes. I worked hard for you, Lord. Amen. I've been faithful. God know you've been faithful. That's why he's breaking you up. Amen. Hello, somebody. He's breaking you so you can stay faithful. Amen. Can I get a witness, somebody? Amen. Yeah. yeah. You don't like it when you're going through what you're going through. I know you don't. Amen. But the Bible says have joy in all that you go through. You don't be talking about no joy when you broken. Yeah. You be trying to mend the pieces. Yeah. God said it ain't gonna fit. It ain't gonna work. Right. Where it came from there, he said, no, but I gotta break you from her. I gotta break you from him. I gotta break you from them. And the place you're going, you can't go no more. Yeah. That's what he said. Listen. And when you listen, you're gonna learn something. When you don't listen, your brokenness is harder. It's harder. Because you know why? You ain't listening. Well, I read that. Hey, people, I read that. I went over that. Mm -hmm. I know that. I know that. But if you know it and what you're going through, something wrong. Because if you listen to what God is saying to you, it's going to be a change. Amen. Amen. Well, God, I work hard for you. God, you ain't got to tell God what you've done for me. You know, He gave you the power to do what you've done. Amen. Amen. God ain't interested in no titles at all. Amen. Titles don't mean nothing to God. Amen. Well, I'm apostle. I'm a bishop. I'm Bishop Sunshine. I'm Sister L.D. Motion. But well, God said, I ain't interested in your titles. I'm looking for disciples. Somebody ready to do the right thing. Amen. Have you noticed when you do the right thing and you know you love God. Yeah. Hello. Amen. And look like things get worse. Amen. What's going on? In other words, he got to bring some purity into you. Come on, sir. And the reason why he got to bring it into you, because you didn't see that little spot <laughs> inside of you. Amen. But God said it. So he pure he pure. So as soon as he purified that, you thanked him, give him, and he and God get glory. Mm. But he ain't finished. Right. See what? He ain't finished. That's why he said, who can know the mind of God? Hebrews 6. Uh, verses 10 and 12. NLT. I'm finishing up. But, but I've seen something here that I think you all need to know. Read. 
For God is not unjust. Mm -hmm. He will not forget how hard you have worked for him. <laughs> for God is not unjust. He will not forget how hard you have worked for him. And what? And how you have shown your love to him mm -hmm. by caring for other believers. Well, caring. Caring for other believers. You're concerned about them. Right. As what? As you still As do. As you still do with your broken self. <laughs> you broke up. Hello? Amen. You, what was that? The um, Flower the Yellow Big Road. What was that? The, the yes. Tin Man. It was a lion and a scarecrow. The scarecrow said, if I only had a brain. The lion said, if I had courage or heart. Tin man said, what? Oil me up. I need some more because I'm stuck. I can't move. Just like you. Think about it. You need courage? How's your brain? How's your mind really operating? Because a mind is a trouble thing. Yeah. Well, you get on my last nerve. What? Last nerve? Get a whole lap. You only got a buck. You, you, you give me a piece, 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 piece of my, my nerve. But what's wrong with you? You're going off. And I find that folks that say they on the Lord's side, they, they get tripped up in there. They need some oil. They need some courage. They need some heart to serve. It takes heart to serve God. Yes, yeah. Amen. Yes, it do. And sometimes their brain is whack. They don't know if they're in the darkness or in the light. You got to make up your mind. Amen. I got my flashlight. No, you got to light up. <laughs> you got to light up. Amen. And you got to stay lit. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. So, for God is not unjust. He will not forget. Others will, but God don't forget everything you do in his name and everything you do for him, everything you do in the church. He don't forget how hard you have worked for him. Hallelujah. Not me, for him. Amen. And how you have shown your love to him. You love him. Though you're going through, you broken, but you're still loving God. Amen. By caring for other believers as you still do. Next word. Our great desire is that you will keep on loving others as long as life lasts. Did you hear that? That is a great desire. Our desire as being believers is that you will keep on loving others as long as I like it. No, he said love them. Amen. Amen. I'm thinking about them. No, he said love them. <laughs> it was on my mind. It was on your mind. What was on your mind? I don't like them. Let me tell you something. <laughs> so what God got to do? He got to break. He got to send some brokenness in there. Yes. And when he said yes. it, it's going to bring humility. Yes. And when you get the humility, you're going to say, God, I'm sorry. Yes. You're yes. going to repent. Yes. And after you repent, you thank God, get up, you clean up everything. And you go on down and see something. He said, I'm going to break you up from there. I'm going to break this. I'm going to break. Well, wait a minute, God. What's in me? Wow. Mm. My God. Yes. Is it? Search my heart. Yeah. God, I need you to do it for me. I can't do it. My God. Yes. Well, a lot of times when you think you know it all, you don't know. Amen. You don't know. And this is why you, you make mistakes. But there's a difference between mistake and brokenness. Brokenness, it was God don't remember. I said, it's a gift. Brokenness is a gift. Yeah. You sound crazy. Don't do that. Sound crazy. Yeah. I'm being over all this. It's a gift. Wow. <laughs> wow. My son was taken away from me. I didn't know if I was going to lose it down. The old nature came back. Yeah. I had nothing but revenge on my mind. I fought that way. God had to break me down even when I'm already broke. Yeah. Down. Yeah, he came in, lifted me up, gave me his word. And he went in. And when I went in the word of God, I said, God, I thank you because I don't know 
what to do. My God, thank you, Lord. He said, do what I told you to do. Seek me. Seek me early. Seek me early. Seek me early. And I made him my business to start seeking God. Each time I sought God, he was changing me. Even while he was changing me, I'm still broken. Yeah. Yeah. Making sense. Yeah. I'm still broken. Mm. I need you to fix it. Because yeah. mm. I yeah. can't fix it. Can't do it. <laughs> I don't care how you do it. Hallelujah. I can't fix it. Bless you. But through, through serving him, mm -hmm. remember, bless, broken, to serve. Mm. That's how it is. And you learn this, people of God. Yeah. You learn this. Yeah. But that don't stop. Because something else happens. Yeah. The things that happened in my life, ain't nobody but God have brought me out. Yeah. Oh yeah. I know him as a healer. I know him as a deliverer. Yeah. And he's a mind regulator. Yes, I know him. I can testify to that. Mm -hmm. But I through all that I went through, he said, huh? I gave the gift of brokenness. Huh? Wait a minute. I'm confused. Yeah. But it's a gift. Amen. And he said, what the brokenness does, mm. it brings humility yeah. into your life. Bless you, it even humbles you more yeah. than you were before. Yeah. And you find yourself, you know, sometimes you be walking and talking, people say, they're talking to yourself. No, I'm talk I got a relationship. Yeah. I'm talking to him. God, yes. I don't know what's around yes. the corner, but I'm going there. I need your guidance, I need your strength, I need your protection. He said, don't go left, go right. And as soon as I go right, he said, now stand still and look. Go around left. If I went left, you see all kind of stuff going on. He's a protector. Even when we think God is against us, he's breaking us. Uh, he's breaking us. Why he breaks us? It's because he wants you to be like him. Yeah. <laughs> I have you tell me, I want to be like Mike. No, you want to be like Jesus. <laughs> you want to be like Jesus. Amen. Not Mike and all of them. No, you be like Jesus. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. No, it reminds me when Satan stepped to uh, Michael the Archangel and Jude. Mm -hmm. I know some of y'all read it sometime. But he said, he said, yo, yo, Mike. What you doing, boy? The way he was, they knew, they knew one another. He said, I'm looking for the bones of Moses. He said, you mean to tell me God demoted you to go looking for some bones? He was getting huffy with him. And Mike remembered. He said, he wanted to get him. But he remember, he said, Satan the Lord rebuke you. In other words, I'm here on a mission, and you're here to break my focus, and you want me to say, join forces with me, and when we can go to God, we can tag God up. He said, you out your mind? He said, you talking to a warring angel, because Michael was a warring angel. That's what he does. He said, you talking to me about coming against God? He kicked you out. But you remember when we was in heaven, what we did. Yeah, Lucifer, you sung, your wings, they were like organs. He said, you were the be most beautiful thing in glory. But you came up against God. And since you came up against, in other words, you couldn't take the brokenness. So he kicked him out. He kicked him out. And, his, and, and those that was following him, one third of the angelic host, Fell with it because pride came in. Pride is dangerous. And you got to be careful as being believers. You don't let it get in your relationship or your fellowship with God or people. This is why God has to separate you from people, places, and things. Well, we used to do it like that, and you was comfortable with them. And, and you didn't realize now they was really breaking your focus. They talk a good talk. They talk about scripture, but they ain't believe nothing. Amen. And they got the counterfeit in the Holy Ghost. 
They see everything and can't even see how to get up the steps. All I'm trying to get you to see, people are deep. They get deep on you. How can you be on the Lord's side and you stabbing your brother and sister in the back with your tongue? Huh? That's vicious. So, our great desire is that you will keep on loving others as long as life lasts. Uh huh. In order to make certain that what you hope for will come true. That what you hope for will come true. Just keep doing the right thing. Amen. Have you ever, since you've been walking with God, you feel like everything is against you? Mm. You, ain't get, you ain't get there yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You get there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get there. I can't get that one up. I get one like that. In other words, you get like that. Yeah. It'll happen. And you only come through or come out when you trust in what his word says. Amen. Amen. You say trust in the Lord and do good yeah. when all this bad has happened. Have you noticed since you were serving God, there are people that was in the world, right? They yeah. wouldn't come nowhere near you. They wouldn't touch you. They, 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 you had some fear there. Mm -hmm. But now since you're serving God, they all get up and you're not fat enough and talking stuff. Amen. <laughs> And they wouldn't, before they wouldn't pour, they couldn't even melt them and pour them on you. Amen. But now they come up what? Test you. Yes. And you, and you, and you, this is your word. God, God is, that's <laughs> true. I hear people tell me, they're going to lay down religion. Keep your religion. No. Uh, uh, lay down. Uh, 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 I'm going to lay the cross to the side. No, you, no, you ain't got to the cross. You ain't put on the cross. Wow. Amen. <laughs> Lord, help me because my hand is nervous. <laughs> we say things. Yeah. We do things. And and let me tell you something. Right at the time, God said, Oh, I'm great loser. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? He breaks you. Hallelujah. Even the ones that come at you, come at you. They they coming at you. They're coming at you. Yeah. And God just says, grab you like this and breaks you. Yeah. And he holds yes. you. Hallelujah. And he, he, yeah. he can't move till you open your mouth. Hallelujah. Remember, your mouth. Is your boss. And then, when you give God back his word, he has to respond to his word. That's what you have to do. You have to put word on it. When you put word on it, you're going to get word results. And the words of Christ. Remember the old saying, open sesame. Think about that. Open sesame. Now, on the, on the, you watch it on the show, you know, all open up. What is showing you, you have the power to say. Can I get a witness? Amen. He said, all you need is the faith of the green of a mustard seed. Amen. He said, work it. Amen. Work it. Work it. <laughs> work it. And God, listen, he sees your faith in brokenness. Hallelujah. You still trust in him. You crying? You know what? You look like a, you look like a a, a, a fly or something now, because you didn't cry it out. Yeah. Drain hydrated too. Hello, and God say, God say, I, I, I see you. I see you, but I'm waiting for your faith. Why do you think you that green? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That green? He said, when I see that, he said, oh, activate. Yep. I got to activate. Yeah. And when he activate, listen. Bring you up and you feel joyful. Can I get away? <laughs> he break you down again. <laughs> That's God. He chastises all the time. Here's what have you ever got in the scripture? Check this out. And you was in something, he said, I'm not reading that right there. I'm going to, I'm going to the New Testament. <laughs> and you go to the New Testament, you say, wait a minute. That same thing was on the Old Testament. But it's in New Testament. Uh, let me see what the Amplified says. Oh, no, I don't want to read the Amplified. <laughs> so, it, it, you know, you know, and you're going to go to the NIV. I'm going to hear. I'm going to you. And then all that, you say, okay, all right. Come to church. Hear the same message that God was trying to tell you. Amen. Go to the same scripture that you was talking. Mm. Have you noticed that? And have you ever, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah. Have you ever gotten to a scripture and you went something, you said, I want to read that. Oh, come on, y'all. I want to read that right now. Amen. Not right now. Right. No, not right now. Right now. 
God is saying, I'm trying to break you. Not right now. But when you when you read it, he start breaking you down. He's only doing it to get humility out of you. Humble is the way. Give me fat mouth and fat mouth and going through all that. Well, wait a minute. If you're going to do all that, you might as well throw your hands up. Oh, yeah. God said, let me um you. Let me work on you in that. Look like every chump in the world going to come up at you. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> so true. Amen. They're going to try you. Yeah. You don't like it. Can I get a no, witness? Don't. don't sit up and tell me. No, yes, I, I do. No, you don't. No, I don't. But it's the omen that say, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so true. Amen. Oh, that was so funny. true. So <laughs> Our great desire is that you will keep on loving others Hallelujah. as long as life lasts. In order to make certain that what you hope for will come true. Wow. It has to. Yes, it does. Because he's breaking you. Hallelujah. He's working yeah. in you yes. for you to be better than you were before. Yes. If you give God his your best, what do you think he's going to do for you? Take care Amen. of the rest. <laughs> Amen. Twelve. Then you will not become spiritually dull mm. and indifferent. No, because you could, you're being broken. Uh huh. Instead, you will follow the example of those who are going to inherit God's promises because of their faith and endurance. Their faith and endurance. So, you will follow the example of those who are going to inherit God's promises. And you read out from the Genesis all the way over the Revelation, you see the promises of God. You see the curses of God. You see heaven, you see hell, you see all of that. And he said because of their faith and endurance. So, you're going through, smile. Ask God for strength. This A.T. Hello, somebody. Amen. Just say cheese. Hello, somebody. Amen. So in my conclusion, blessed, broken, and still working. Yeah. Father, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for this time. We thank you, God, that even through our brokenness, we still love you and we're concerned of the things that happen in our lives. Knowing that you have given us power over our past and the presence that you have now that we have. So God, we thank you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.